Hey there, Steve Krypta here, and if you're running your own business, there's a good chance that you're talking to people on a pretty consistent basis. Well, I have a quick question for you. Have you ever like gotten somebody through the whole process, they've seen your presentation or they read your deal or, or something like that and they're like you're excited together and you're getting ready to sign the dotted line and all of a sudden they go, man, this is so awesome, but boom, ejection or excuse or whatever it is to give you a big old fat no. Well, good news. For the next couple minutes, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna share with you four tips that's gonna help you bring those people across the finish line with you. So check this out. Tip number one is to ask questions. Now, I've gone over this in past videos, but I think this is incredibly important to review again. Ask questions and listen, be present in the conversation because you don't know how you can serve the person with your product or service unless you hear what they're telling you. Okay, and it's funny because I just had a conversation about 25, 30 minutes ago with somebody that's making close to $3,000 a week. Well, I'm not gonna approach them with like, hey, would you like to make some more money on the side or anything like that? What I will approach that person with is, how can I, how can I help give you more time, bring you more time freedom to your family? You see, if I wasn't paying attention and asking questions, I never would have known that and I would just would have hit them with the same exact thing that everybody else in the industry does and saying, hey, would you like to make more money? Not everybody's interested in money and you don't know what that is. You don't know what, you don't know what they're looking for unless you ask questions and listen to what they're telling you. Okay, so tip number two is never bring up money without providing value first. I don't care if it's coaching or your opportunity or affiliates or services or whatever it is because no matter what you do, if it's 50 bucks and they don't know, if they don't know what the value is and what you're, you're, um, you're offering, they're gonna tell you it's too much money. So bring the value up first. Now if you get stuck and they're like, if you're like, hey, check out my opportunity, like if you just kind of like blurt that out, um, it's okay if they say, well, how much is it? It's okay to say something like, you know, there's a couple of different levels in our, in our company and I think I would probably do, a, do you a disservice if I just started blurting out numbers to you without seeing the value that we have in product service or opportunity or whatever you have. Okay, so never bring up money until you show them the value first. Uh, tip number three is model the leaders. You know, there's people in your, in your company that are making a million, two million, three million, four million or however much. Find out what they're doing, model them. Stop trying to reinvent the wheel. I've tried to do that, it never works. Do what's working for the top industry leaders, follow it, model it, and crush it, okay? Super easy one. Fourth one is incredibly important. We are what we think, okay? Meaning, people can sense when you are not having, when you don't have belief in yourself, you don't have confidence in yourself, and the only way we can, we can really grow as individuals is constantly bettering ourselves by reading um, good books and, and, and mindset training and audios and videos and all that kind of great stuff. You know, and, and I have a really cool book here. This is one of my favorite books. It's called The, the War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. It's really big lettering, so it's good for people like me. Um, the chapters are like two and three pages long, so it's super perfect for people like me that I don't like to read and it takes a long time for me to get through a short little book. Um, but when you feel good about you and you believe you, People are gonna follow you everywhere because there's a lack of leadership, not necessarily in our industry, but in our country and our world as a whole. So when you are a leader and people feel that, they will follow you because you know this more than anybody else. People join people, not companies. So be a bigger you. So ask questions and listen. Don't bring up money until you hit the value. Model the leaders and be a bigger and better and more awesome than you already are. So. I just appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here. If you got some value out of this, feel free to like it, share it, leave me a comment if you'd like. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And feel free to pick up my best sponsoring secrets. It'll be on my right side of my page right here. And um, they're awesome. <laughs> they've, they've given people some tremendous value and really terrific results. Best sponsoring secrets right over here on the right. And um, have an awesome, awesome day. Looking forward to your success. Bye-bye.